Um, Harry Reid, the majority leader, was saying very unlikely we would have a deal by Christmas. Ostensibly, we're running out of days on the calendar. So if that's the case, and he quibbles with the fact that, that Republicans haven't come up with specifics as to how they would raise that $800 billion in revenues, are you against returning to Clinton-era rates, or would you be okay with that if it's a way of avoiding all the hoops they're going through to find like revenue? I'm in favor of most anything that would get an agreement. But it seems to me, why are we focusing on that narrow part of this entire scenario? Uh, in other words, the tax rates. Why aren't we also giving equal weight in the media and in our debates on the entitlements? We know what the elephant in the room is. It's the entitlement. But you heard the eight Democratic congressmen and senators today said, said no. I know. don't it, touch, don't touch. I know what they said. But they're not the ones, frankly, who are at the table right now. Right now, it is the president, Boehner, and perhaps McConnell, perhaps Pelosi, uh, that that are there. But right now, those two are. But are do you really see them there. really addressing entitlements? Because the, the the best case scenario you hear, Senator, is that uh, Republicans agree to hikes in taxes, depending on the details, with a promise that they're going to address spending next year. Uh, Republicans uh, argue they've been that way before, and they're. I've skeptical. got some beachfront property in Arizona for you if you, if you would accept that deal.